wasn't going to do any more videos for YouTube. They've now banned three of my videos without any explanation that I'm aware of. The third one they banned dealt purely with the question of freedom of speech, a concept which whoever runs the world these days obviously decided was too daring to allow. But things are getting out of hand and there are some things which have to be shared with as many people as possible. And so, although I suspect they won't last long here, I'll put a few more videos on YouTube, but I'll also make them available elsewhere and the transcripts will be on my website. A couple of days ago, I saw several images which will haunt me for years. One photo showed school children in a playground each child confined within a chalk square drawn on the ground. The children were not allowed to play with one another, they weren't allowed to touch one another, they had to play games by themselves several feet apart from anyone else. Try playing tag by yourself, the quickest game in the history of playground sport. No football, no games that require contact or getting closer than a few feet away, no racing around screeching for no apparent reason other than the fact that you've got joy in your heart and energy to waste. You just sit in your soulless little chalk square. Another photo I saw showed children in a classroom sitting yards apart from one another, each child wearing a mask and a plastic visor. This is utter, utter madness. It is also wicked cruelty. Back in the 1970s, I wrote the first popular book on how stress can affect the human mind and body. I would never have imagined that anyone could treat children in such a cold-blooded and damaging way. In the UK, it's now being alleged that if a child falls or has any sort of accident, then they must not be helped by other children or by teachers. The child who falls and grazes a knee will have to attend to it themselves. The child who accidentally wets themselves will have to deal with it alone. No hugs, no caring. Enough. The lunacy has gone far enough. Who in the name of all things holy thinks up these barbaric madnesses? We would be better off keeping schools permanently closed. Has anyone in authority any idea of the permanent damage this will do to these poor children. Children will be scarred for life by what's already happened to them. We'll be breeding a new, raid of, a new race of weirdos, loners and psychopaths. Teachers are educated people. They should care about the science. A study by paediatricians couldn't find one case of a child passing on the coronavirus. Not one. One boy who did have the disease failed to give it to 170 people who were classified as contacts. To be honest, my feeling is that if teachers want to protect children from dangers, they'd do better to insist that all children wear crash helmets in the classroom in case meteors fall on their heads. In reality, I think teachers should insist on opening up schools so that children can be taught again. And please, let's forget the daft rules. No stupid chalk squares, no plastic visors. Look at the science. Look at the figures we have. Look at the real evidence. Not the hyperbole and the terrifying myth-making nonsenses poured out by power-hungry politicians and headline-hunting journalists. If we don't stop this, this nonsense now, in a year or two's time we'll find ourselves dealing with a generation of mortally wounded young people, unable to mix, unable to talk or relate to others bewildered, lonely, confused, and in a quiet despair which they don't understand. And I fear that quite a number of them will, be turned out, will turn out to be so disturbed that they become antisocial and even violent. We should either open schools properly or we should keep them closed. Those are the two choices. Thank you for watching An Old Man in a Chair and thank you for all your support this video hasn't been monetized. I've not authorized any advertising or sponsorship. You can find more truths about the coronavirus and a transcript of this video and other health matters too on my website www.vernoncolman.com which is also entirely free of advertising and sponsorship. Thank you again.
But let's do something about this. <laughs>